Hi everybody, welcome to Oasis. Um, I have been waiting for this day for probably a really, really long time. So a while ago I put the, what was it, the, the bell ordinance in effect where you get like a lot of money. And I noticed that you get like two specials at retail here. And so I also had noticed one of those days they have ore. And sometimes the ore is, you know, in absurd abundance. So just really happy to have that. Just because... I have been collecting ore, excuse me cat, I've been collecting ore for, how long have I been playing this game? Well, I've had it for over a year, and I've just been neglecting to play it, like, this is actually set in, like, May 2014, it's, like, September 2015, I'm really behind on it, but that's not the point. So, I'm gonna sit here and collect all the ore that I've gathered for the last, some odd, however long I've been playing, and literally, it has, it's just exploded. It's all over my house. It's filled up most of, like, my little storage area. I've even started, like, storing it inside the museum. Like, I, I literally have rooms solely just to have, like, space for it. Knowing that this day was coming. Like, I'm super thrilled because I'm about to be probably the richest mayor in the history of ever. And I'm also going to really apologize because the length of this video is going to go on probably a million times longer than it should. So, yeah. Shit. Try to have them look at the camera and at the screen, so. Oh. Never mind then. Give me one more sec. I'm not really accustomed to doing videos, so once again, I'll apologize to that. If I get the opportunity to, I may edit through this, but chances are it'll just be a raw upload, which you will definitely be able to see in the quality itself. So, and I'm sure you don't really care what's happening on the touch screen, so if you are, then sorry, I guess. So, alright, this will probably be like trip one of like 55 probably seriously there's just there is so much ore it is coming out of my ears unless this game is fun you know there's a reason i play it like every day for like four hours and be like oh i'll stop for like eight months and then i'll pick it back up and i question myself why do i ever stop playing this game oh yeah it ruins my life i forget it's worth it though totally worth it If you're also wondering, the, uh, I kind of use retail as kind of just to, like, monopolize everything that I sell. Like, I sell fossils pretty much and just, like, compulsively guilt the, uh, villagers to buying everything. Just because I can. Like, you know, why not? It's, it's great. Yeah. that That's how much I'm getting just for the one, and it's just a mixture of stuff. I have rows and rooms filled with, like just gold and silver ore, just because there's so much of it. The funny thing is, I've also, like, I spent the last couple days in-game playing, trying to save up, um, to get the little, the tiny little crown, just because I want it. It's, you know, it's a status symbol. I'm, I'm a fancy rich village person, mayor, whatever. Like, I do what I want. Oh, hang on, I gotta do one more thing. That is not it. I also use letters and mail is like extra storage space to keep my uh my pockets mostly clear i don't know if everybody's aware that you can do that you use either full or like old letters or new letters you can do whatever you want like i've been doing that since uh, i started playing animal crossing on the what was it i was gonna say n64 but they didn't have it for that uh for the gamecube i just clean one room at a time this is gonna take a really really long time and I'm almost forgetting making a video because we're almost five minutes in and I really don't want to have to have everyone sit through like 20 minutes of this. <laughs> Probably will though, just out of spite. You're like, look what I did. Oh, I'm so awesome. Yeah, I can play video games really well. I have no life. <laughs> Sad face. That's my space room, by the way. I like space. I used to have like a bunch of like other sciency and robot stuff in it, but I decided not to. Um... Something I've always done, which is have, like, I always had a T-Rex, for sure, uh, kind of in my f entryway in my house. Oh, shit. Um, 
but it's, you know, I let, like, gotta have fossils. It's awesome. There we go. How much space do I have? Oh, gosh. I don't even know what to talk about. Like, this this town's great. New Leaf is a good game. Play New Leaf. Don't ever stop playing it. It's a great game. Although, like, I guess I've tried the multiplayer aspect of it where it's like, hey, invite your friend over your t to your town. What do you do? I don't know. Like, dig a hole and push one in it. That doesn't actually work unless you have a pitfall, but whatever. Like, that's what you want to do? Go do it. You, you, can, this is, you can do whatever you want in life. It's a game. Seriously, though, this game is my favorite. Like, I'm pretty sure this game can cure depression or help cause it. I don't know. It makes you feel, feel happy inside because... Oh, look, I got friends. This is wonderful. And then you realize, oh, I don't actually have friends. And then you get a little sad. Good game, though. Good game. This is why I don't do Let's Plays. I, just, I can't focus on, like, more than two things at once. Seriously. Why, why are you paying so much? Where do you get this money? I'm, like, destroying the economy in this, in this town. I feel bad, but I don't. Because I'm filthy rich. Why not? Is that kind of like how most people feel now? I don't know. I'm just dumping it here on the floor. When I first was trying to like pay off my house and things, I looked up a review where all you had to do was go to the island and catch a bunch of various beetles because they go for a lot. I mean, after you put the bell ordinance in effect, just because you get that much more for things. I mean, they also cost more. So like the only thing that it doesn't really affect is how much your house costs. I don't know. Whatever. But. Like. So I'd, I would, I'd go to the island back and forth and collect a million beetles. And then be like, okay, I've got all the money. And then I'd probably break the entire economy with beetles. I'm like, what are you? Like, I understand that's kind of just a way to. Oh, shit. Um, like. Just remove items in game when you don't want them and get, like, currency for them. Oh, my God. Um, but, like, where does, where does retail get all this money? Like, what do you use for it? It just, it makes no sense. And, I, like, I actually want to know who programmed the game. Like, what do you think they do with all this money? Where do you think it goes? Because I really want to know. All right, so we have, like, what, how many can you fit in your inventory? Like, 16 sets of rubies? It's ridiculous. I even actually used a lot of the ore. I'll, I'll eventually go upstairs into what I guess you could call my bedroom, which is just green furniture, everything, but I made them use emeralds on it because now it's sparkly green furniture. If that's not already obvious, green is my favorite color. It always has been, probably always will be. I get kind of like a dragon and like have to have everything that's green and hoard it because I have no self-control in my life. Hang on, I'll show you what I mean. This, this guy, actually, he put his house in, like, the most inconvenient location possible. And I've been, like, the worst human being to him possible trying to get him to move. Yesterday, as I was playing, he finally told me, Yeah, I'm gonna be moving on the 11th, which today is the 10th. Uh, tomorrow will be the 11th, so it'll be his last day. I am so happy because I finally get to block off the little pathway that I'm trying to make sure that, like, maintains it has no houses in it. Which means it's, it, I can finally do that. It's finally over. Like, I'm so happy. Like, first he's moving out. First I, like, have all the money in the world. And now I'm... Oh, shit. I didn't even... Uh, I do this a lot. I'll, like, do something with, like, the, the sale aspect of it. And then I forget that I actually have things to sell. It's, like, an extra, like, five minutes that I've just wasted. I am so sorry. Please kill me. Just hope that the video works out. I'm just I'm just using a an iPad for it because that's the best I have currently. I don't uh, I'm, I want to get an official camera and like make a nice little setup. Like I, my office is beautiful, especially when it's clean. I'm not gonna show it to you. Like there's a reason I'm playing in the dark. Um, but I'd love to actually start a like legit review channel. Yeah, sixty four thousand bells for sixteen rupees. That's nice. No rubies, not rupees. I'm sorry. I've also been playing Zelda a lot. I've also got, like, the Link Between Worlds DS, so. It's cool. I like it. It's just a, you know, package for it. It's nothing special. Do I have to... No, okay, I'm good. Ugh, oh, back and forth. Oh, so, if you haven't guessed already, 
I have a very poor sense of humor. On that day, Oasis received a grim reminder that their mayor was an absolute sociopath. <laughs> now, I did that a long time ago. And also, if you, you saw the other little picture that's by retail, I made like a little dick butt picture just because. Why not? I, uh, I make a lot of bad decisions in video games. Like, you have no idea. You should see me play Mass Effect. I'm terrible. I really am. <laughs> Commander Shepard is like... Well, I mean, I've, I've done several playthroughs of Mass Effect, and I'm actually on my Renegade one. I haven't played it in a bit, but... Uh, literally, I'm just trying to like choose the most specious and like terrible decisions possible. Like, yeah, I suppose I can have aliens on my team. Ugh. Like, everything that I hate about the character Ashley, especially in the first Mass Effect, like... That's that's what I'm just trying to emulate, like be her hero, and still trying to like bone the art at the same time. But whatever. Yes, yeah, like I said, he's a terrible person. Oh, that's my uh, that's my fancy room, like with an office and l the lounge, kind of nice. Uh, I am just have one. Okay, great. Oh, there's another. This is what the fourth one we've done. I've done because you're you're just watching and if you are still watching at this point good on you like great I, I don't know how much time I'm going to apologize but it's gonna be a lot I should just start the channel called I'm really really sorry and that's like the channel name because it'll just be whatever because I also can't focus on a single task or like conversation well with myself because I'm just like here I'm gonna talk see it's the uh, great picture of dick butt I also forgot to put his arm on so whatever you know, it doesn't look that great. It was... I, I had a lot of time to waste. And I hope that if I ever play in a live game that uh, no one reports me for that. Because it is a little inappropriate, I guess. But whatever, it's Nintendo. They, they should understand, right? Yes, buy that. Yes, buy it. I, I made it more expensive on purpose. Usually I make it just like, you know, only like a few hundred more expensive. But I made it, like, an extra thousand, fifteen hundred, whatever. Just because I can. Like, I used to be really nice as a mayor. Now I just don't care. Now I'm going to have to find more fossils to put on here. Oh, my gosh. I also don't know where my stylus is. I mean, I have, I bought, like, a little pack um, to keep the DS in. It's, like, this little, like, leather pouch Zelda theme. It's really cool. And it has, like, um... What was it? Uh, a shield and a master sword. Or Hylian shield and a master sword that you can, like, use as giant styluses. But they don't fit in the little slot. They just kind of stick in the pouch. And I don't feel like turning around and picking it up. Because I've actually just made, like, a little makeshift desk to film this, like, hour-long piece of shit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, my gosh. really should try and edit it. I'm not gonna. Okay, that didn't help at all. Oops. All of it. Uh, put it on the ground. Get in there. What's nice is the villagers at least don't try and take your money. Like, unless it's like in a game. These people are so nice and yet we take such advantage of them. Do we feel bad? A little bit. Just a little bit. And if you bother sticking around and like making a comment on the video, do you have a favorite villager? I do. Uh, this villager only exists, I believe, in New Leaf. I think they made him specifically for it. I looked it up a while ago. Um, but it's Marshall, also known as June in the original version. He is the little white squirrel who is probably the cutest thing in existence. And I didn't put any in here. Okay. Yeah, this is just my, I like to call it my weeaboo room, but it's just everything more traditional Japanese theme, plus all the coffee I got from, like, the stuff. Yeah, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. All right, so that one's cleared out, that's good. We'll go downstairs first. I used to have, before I, I invaded the museum, uh, I used to have like all the, the stuff from Festival, which honestly was my favorite holiday I think I've ever played in this game. Like Easter was fun and I actually, I got stuck on Easter for a long time just cause like, that's when I stopped playing. And I just, like, remember. Luckily, Easter last year was really easy to remember the date. Because, uh, oh, it's 420. Uh, just late. Um, it's not funny. I live in Colorado, dude. It's terrible. All right, that's everybody. Um, 
but I had all the pave stuff in my basement set up and I, I had made an identical setup in uh, the museum but like I had pave plus all the Nintendo stuff I got from like the fortune cookies at um, the Nook store so I mean it was it's it was a nice little setup I actually like seriously festival collecting the feathers and then watching pave dance oh, I could just I could do that for days like it was way too much fun um, plus all the furniture that you got from it was pretty cool and you didn't have to eat a million freaking eggs to get prizes and it's like the same oh look it's an egg but uh, going back to the the what was I say favorite villager yeah Marshall he's the greatest little egg thing in existence it's funny because when I first started playing uh playing this game I, what was it it was actually right after my fiance's birthday or like on his birthday was the date I started um I had we, we still had pumpkins out from like Halloween just because we can't bother like cleaning things up on time whatever um the squirrels outside I had made I had I had carved two pumpkins um then and, and my fiance Donnie he carved another one now if this is this is kind of going deep into the internet um first of all like I made one that's a creeper face that has one on both sides like it literally like looks like just a creeper face all the way through uh that one just got destroyed by a squirrel like as soon as like <laughs> as soon as we put it outside there was like a squirrel always in it and it was really cool looking because it almost made it look like the creeper had actually exploded because like one side was mostly eaten and the other side was kind of the same like it was literally just like the face outline of a creeper and it, it didn't really work too well um the second pumpkin i made was uh i tried making the shall we do it or yaranaika face and that was an absolute disaster i saw someone on tumblr made it who actually like did a good job and took time and effort and was careful and had patience like they did really cool like that was awesome um and donnie had made a pumpkin that was uh if, if you are aware of like pumpkin world like that abomination of a game like he had made pumpkin from shit uh from that and it was beautiful i if we have pictures of it somewhere like I'm sure I'll put a link to it if I remember to. But yeah, it, it does exist, and it's awesome. So, um, oh my god, I just dropped these. I'm great at video games, guys. Yeah, but, so, the squirrels who just devoured the pumpkins that we had, I had, the first letter, and Marshall will occasionally still show it to me, um, is, <laughs> is uh, I, I had sent him a letter and asked him, are you the one who ate all of our pumpkins? Because if so, I hate you. And that's the first letter I wrote him. And not knowing that he became, he would become, like, my absolute favorite villager. Like, whoever wrote his character or, like, the kind of letters that he's supposed to send or just everything about him is ridiculously sweet and cute. And, like, I have a million letters saved that he's sent me that's just, like... Hey, we're gonna just be like best friends. You, oh, beloved Veronica, you're the sweetest. But and he's just, he's vague and cute about it, but it's just oh my gosh, like it's it's too cute. Like seriously, whoever wrote them, give that man an award or woman or person or of indis of indeterminate gender because it, it doesn't matter. It's okay. So why do I still have so many? Oh my god, I actually don't have that many emeralds because I used them all and I explained why already. Oh 20 minutes. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm not sorry. Because I've been waiting for this day for a really, really long time. Since the first time I realized, oh, they can do more on ore. I mean, what is it? It's just like an extra, what, 100 bells per thing? I don't know. It's like, look it up later. Do the calculations. Put it on the ground. It's just... I actually went into, like, little the Nook's housing thingy for the first time and like since I paid off my house and they have like the whole little like this is the design that you can make for your house you want to make it look like a castle and it's like um what was it it's just like 500,000 bells I think is what it uh what it cost I've already reached that by now like I was worried oh what if I'm not gonna have enough money I mean I don't want the castle I actually really like the way the exterior of my my little house here is much to the Happy Home Academy's dismay. 
but at least I'm finally cleaning up my house. They're like, why do you have trash everywhere? You should pick up your stuff. Don't leave things on the floor. And I'm like, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> That's why I don't actually have any of the, the Happy Home Academy stuff. So this is the bedroom I was talking about. Like, green my favorite. See? Also, this is my favorite song in the game. It's, uh, I love you. If you ever want to try and use that as like someone's ringtone, I would highly not recommend it because it is really, really quiet. You just, you can barely hear it. You're like, oh wait, is my phone ringing? Which is bad because that's, I actually have that for uh, Donnie's ringtone and when he tries to call me, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that, what? As opposed to my like ringtone for everybody else, which is, uh, if you are aware of Achievement Hunter, which you should be, um, what's that? Oh, it's a normal sized fish. Uh, Someone made like dubstep remixes. Is that normal size fish or is this? No, it's normal. Okay. Um, dubstep remixes of just like various things that they say in their like let's plays and podcasts or whatever they do. And his, uh, someone made one called Tone Jeff, which if the, uh, of all the ones that they they make, the the people who made them are called We Tease It Productions. Uh, if you like Achievement Hunter and Rooster Teeth, go find them. Go listen to them. Like, I don't even like dubstep, and it's just, like, I listen to the song when I'm having a bad day or if, like, work is really stressing me out, I'll listen to that for a little bit, and suddenly the world is, a, like, a beautiful place again. Like, it's an absurd song, and I'm not even gonna try and recreate it here because I don't want to, and you can't make me. Yay, 76,000 again. Oh my gosh, almost done. Did I still have more in the, in the house? I think I did. But yeah, like that's a bit of it, and you can probably guess which part, if you listen to it, which part is my ringtone. It's uh, a little embarrassing when it blares in public, but at the same time I don't care, because it's Jeff, and I love Jeff, so. Yeah. I don't have any Achievement Hunter stuff in-game here, but I'm like covered in it inside my house. Like, once again, going back, if I ever do that YouTube channel, you'll see The Office. It's, uh... I've got one one wall that is pretty much just one giant bookshelf crammed with, like, all the books. Mostly manga, but all the books that I've bought over the last, like, well, I mean, started about ten years ago. But, like, I've collected way more in the last five than anything else. Once again, because I have poor impulse control. And, uh, like, yeah, you get really irresponsible because it's like, oh, what's this? Borders is closing down? Sure, I'll, like, buy everything. And that's why I don't have any money. I work full time. Ah, oh, damn it. Like, but yeah, even even working full time and you're like, oh, I still want to buy this and this and this. Like, it just it doesn't doesn't happen. It doesn't work. It's worth it though. It really is. Like, there's something just really enjoyable about like having a series that you read and really enjoy, having a paper copy of it to be like, look, look at this. Like, there's yeah, it's it's. Oh no, it's nice. It's nice having tangible things that you can hand people. Like, look what I does, or has, or I can't English. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. No more space. Okay. Let's clear this out. I used to actually have this full until I invaded the, uh, oops, there's another one. Until I invaded the museum, just because, like, why not? I'll get those in a sec. That's, that's literally the, uh, gold and silver rose. I used to have two full rows of it, but then I slowly replaced it out because I wanted to collect uh, hydrangeas. I hydrangea starts, both pink and blue. Um, every time that we, I run by, um, what is this place called? The town center, city hall, whatchamacallit, um, which I just renovated because apparently everybody loves my town. Like these are mixed pattern of pink and blue hydrangeas. Hydrangea? Hydrangea? And, yeah. Uh, I'm waiting for them to bloom so that I can plant more and figure out which, like, which pattern I should put them in. Or then I should just surround the entire building with it. I mean, I totally could. Like, what's gonna stop me? The police? Oh, wait, they aren't in here. Seriously, though, I haven't gotten, like, copper or whoever to, like, come and, like, be like, yeah, we want to set up a police station in town. Which... It's pretty, I guess, important, but yeah, I'm still missing the police station, and 
Who else is it? Um, Katrina has yet to set up her little shop, and I've actually gone to her several times. You know, I actually, like, I don't care too much for, like, the fortunes themselves, or, like, trying to figure out what clothing item is going to save me from this grand disaster that's absolutely impending and going to kill us all. But, like, I guess you can't have it in front of the door. Whatever. Um. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah, seriously, totally forgot. Something about Katrina, her fortunes, it's pretty cool. Oh, and like the little things that she says, like, it's going back and saying like, why do I ever stop playing this game? Because it just, it's, it is a real, it's a feel good game because it's like, you know, may happiness find you and yours and remember that bad times are just times that are bad. Which, first of all, I appreciate just like the redundancy of that statement. Like, people die when they are killed. Like, that kind of redundancy. Like, I, I appreciate that. Um... But, like, it's it's also just kind of, like, a really sweet thing to say. And kind of, especially for, like, you know, younger people who are playing this game. I'm, I'm hella old, so, like, I'm, I'm not in that category at all. Um, and, yeah, I can take that. Like, that's, it's kind of, like, a, a really sweet thing to, to remember. I've done, what was it? It's, like, a Did You Know Gaming episode on, like, the first Animal Crossing and he's talking about, like, the guy who made it, like, made it to kind of, like, you know, he just moved, yeah, I don't know if he lived in a small town or whatever, he, like, moved to a big city and it was just kind of, like, kind of, like, a really alienating feeling. He's like, well, I don't, I don't know what it is, but, like, kind of giving that, like, you can make your own little hometown and, like, community feel with Animal Crossing. You do it definitely more in this game because the mayor, or you as the mayor being the player, you have so much more agency in what goes on, except for where a villager, like, decides to put their house. You don't know how annoying that is. Like, it's so annoying. Like, they, everybody knows. Anyone who's played this game, it's like, why did you put your house right in front of my door? What is wrong with you? I made this beautiful orchard, and you have destroyed it. I will destroy you instead. Ooh, lots of money. That, that was the mostly gold and silver. I don't know if you saw me putting it in, but yeah. Um... It's, it's, it's annoying. And that's why to that little, the deer thing, Bew or Bo or whatever his name is, like, I do feel bad that, like, I've been an, like, you know, absolutely horrible person to him. I'm gonna write him a letter after I'm finished with this, this, this task and video being like, sorry, I'm so mean, like, I didn't mean it. Not really. I lied. But, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I'll go up here. Yeah. Uh, short attention span. Like, if I had someone to communicate with, like, in the house, like, I've got four cats. I could talk to cats for days. But they're not really gonna be coherent back, and you may be able to hear some of them, but none of them are meowing. They're probably like, why is this crazy woman just sitting here yelling at, like, two screens at the same time? Like, well, besides the DS having two screens, but, like, the, the big screen and the slightly smaller screen. And earlier, uh, one of them walked up and, like, kind of stepped over she, like you saw like her fur yeah she does that like if there's anything that cats are amazing at it's being in the way believe me like shout out to all you cat owners out there it's worth it and you know it all right i'm gonna just sneak in real quick this is what i talked about with my pave room actually because the door is in a different spot i had to like turn it sideways because usually like the door is weird but it doesn't have I don't know if they have like a pave stereo but i'm really looking forward to completing more of the year just to get back to festival because it's it was so much fun oh my god but yeah oh, owls that's great <sighs> just seriously now we're at half an hour I've, I've said this every single time at uh what was it at like the 10 or 15 minute mark as we're going so um, when I was talking about Easter, or playing on Easter, like, I, I didn't want to, like, spend all the time collecting eggs and stuff, but, yeah, here's, here's what I did with all the Easter things. And you got, like, you always get, like, a, what was it, the grand prize ticket, and you just get, like, a million zipper picks. Like, I don't need a million of them, I just need one, thank you. And I gave the other ones away. Like, here, you guys can have this. I don't need it. Huh. I think... Yeah, some are, like, right behind me there's some tea, but I don't want to, like, risk dropping the camera. 
talking for half an hour straight is uh is exhausting and i get to do it again tonight at my work uh i work overnight at assisted living home and uh we're training someone new and this person uh is absolutely wonderful i love her she's great um i'm really looking forward to to working with her uh but anytime i do training it's like what do i have to talk about what do i am i explaining things correctly please let me know i just i don't know like i'm a terrible student which makes me an even worse teacher so like there's that so i'm just like i'm just gonna sit and ramble on about things that may seem relevant to the job so but she she's actually in the same boat that i was when i first joined about two years ago which is i had no like i'm not a nurse or anything i had no background like i used to work at like an Italian restaurant so like I, I stopped that and came here instead actually it's really close to where I live uh, which is really convenient like trust me this, there's a reason I stuck around for as long as I did besides it's, it's a really good environment um, but like you you aren't required to have any kind of background for it it certainly helps like if you if you've trained as a CNA if you're like learning to be a nurse or whatever like that information really helps because it makes you that much more I don't want to say competent, but just like, you know, if something happens like in an emergency, you know exactly what to do. You know, you may not be able to enact those things because it may not be part of your position, but the more you are able to help, the better. And, you know, why why I'm working at this place and why I love it so much is they, they really, really like, on the sign that they had out when I started working is, it literally says, help wanted, we will train you. And I'm like, well, I, I'll, I, could, I can learn. But yeah, it's it's a great place. I love all my residents. Working overnights kills my brain. But, you know, it's, it's better than working in the mornings and getting yelled at constantly. Mostly because if you're not fast enough, like, everybody else yells at you. Like, why aren't you doing this? It's, it's you know, not not the people you're actually caring for. They're, they're most of the time really understanding so shout out to old people thank you for being understanding most of the time but yeah it's like i don't i don't want to spend the entire like rest of the video ranting about work good news is like this is the last of the room so we can uh, i probably should like i haven't even know if i'm done what am i doing um i probably should like watch this video or like review it just to make sure like, that I'm totally okay putting it out. I probably will, or just, like, whatever. I'm just, like, commit myself to the embarrassment that is the internet. I already... I, God damn it. I pretty much already did that uh, at the beginning of August. I'm like, I'm just gonna walk up on center stage at... Uh, I went to uh, RTX this year, and... What was it? This Saturday that we were there? Like, I got a chance to, to hop up on stage and play Towerfall Ascension, which I had never played ever uh, but I've, I, like, I've seen, like, a clip or two of it being played, and I've heard it's really fun. But, like, while I got up there, it was, like, a mini, mini competition with Screw Attack. They're like, hey, let's do this! And I'm like, okay, I just ran to the front not thinking. And so the guy's like, okay, hey, so where are you from? I'm like, I'm from Colorado. And they're like, oh, okay, and then he started up asking a bunch of questions about weed, and I'm just like, um, can you not? I mean, no, I don't do it because of my job. I'm like, I don't really want to do it anyway, but, like, that's, that's my, my thing. But, like, he was so confused because he thought I had I did it because of my job. And he was just, it was really funny and confused. And I don't know if that video still exists. But it's, you know, I, I had deeply shamed my family on stage. Because it was funny, like, I had tweeted, and uh, it's Captain underscore V underscore Smith at uh, Twitter is my handle. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, it's, it's also uh, gamertag, add me. I just... I'm never online. I'm not going to talk to you. Don't, like, add me just because it'll make me feel better. Um, but, like, it was, I had I had tweeted on the thing because they have the, the live Twitter feed as it goes. They had the same thing at, at Let's Play Live in February, which was a lot of fun. Like, we got that hashtag trending. Yay, go us. Um, I'm sorry if I'm going back on, like, an Achievement Hunter slash Rooster Teeth tangent. It's what I do most of the time. Um, but I had, I had, uh, I tweeted... Look, Ma, I'm on TV. Like, as much as, as you can s type in an accent, that's that's what I did. Hopefully this is the last round. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, but then, like, I took a picture as that one came on. Like, I took a picture of the tweet that said, Look, Ma, I'm on TV. And then, like, 
took that, tweeted that picture and said, see? And then shortly afterwards is when I just completely, like, embarrassed myself and shamed the family. Like, it's just, it was really awkward. And, uh, <laughs> there was, there is a video that, um, my fiance took of me doing it, but his phone didn't pick up audio at all, which is a, it's, it's a damn shame because it was, it was really funny. Apparently they were laughing their butts off. So, I mean, you know, what, whatever. Thanks for laughing at my expense, guys. I'm sorry if I'm not funny and I'm just, like, drowning you out. Like, 10 million dislikes or downvotes or whatever YouTube has or, you know, Tumblr. Like, if you can have a negative reblog, do that. Please don't hate me. I love you guys. I'm sorry. Can you, can you not? Can you stop? <laughs> I don't know. It's, the light in here is, is terrible because I'm trying to have it focus on the, uh, the, the DS and one of my cats is like scratching the crap out of my chair so and the other one just jumped on the back so there's four of them if I did not make that clear earlier yeah two are mine and two are my fiance's and you know, we've been living together for what just over four years and so like they they've all acclimated to each other like they're fine what's up one of them is like right next to me right now what you doing yeah okay I'm actually really happy, like, they're not currently trying to, like, s like, announce their presence to the world and, like, scream at the universe saying, let me outside, I want to go outside, like they usually are, because they're cats. And to be honest, I probably should let them outside for a little bit, like, it's been maybe two weeks since, like, my cats are indoor cats, but I like to let them outside under supervision, just because, you know, I just, I live in kind of like a small condominium area. So there's not, I don't really have a yard or like a fence or anything. So like, I'm not just going to let them wander. Like they have callers with our address and my contact info on there. But that's, that's pretty much it. Like I, the, the oldest cat, he tends to get out a lot. Like if you, if you don't keep an eye on him when he's outside, he'll just go wander the neighborhood. Like he has always done that. Um, our eldest cat that we've, we've had, he's 16. He actually passed away last year. He used to do that like crazy and it would like he would they would always come home yeah but it was still like I don't want to leave them alone for like two or three hours because I don't know what's gonna happen like even if I'm in a relatively safe neighborhood I don't trust the cars or I don't trust dogs I don't know what they're gonna get into like you know so just like I like to like if they're outside for like an hour or so then I'm outside with them for an hour just to you know I don't want my cats getting hit by a car, okay? Like, call me crazy. I actually care about them. I mean, as to be said, like, people who, like, leave their animals out all the time, it's not that they don't care. It's just, like, I'm kind of panicky. And I'm not sorry for that, I guess? I don't know. All right. So, finally, that was the last round. And thank you for sticking around for what's probably going to be closer to 45 minutes by the time I'm done. But I really appreciate it. Um... I'm really sorry that I'm bland, boring, and really stupid and can't hold a conversation. And no, most of that's sarcasm. I'm not actually, like, putting myself down. It's just... I mean, if you want me to, I, I guess I can. But, yeah, it's... If you want to describe me, it's mostly sarcasm. And, uh, yeah, mostly sarcasm. All right, how much money do I actually have right now? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> uh... I just have, I just got nearly a million bells. Like, I'm not going to bother, like, actually doing math right now. Like, are you kidding? Like, no. No. <laughs> but, you know, literally, uh, the last day I played, I just put in my last little amount for, like, yay, I just saved up a million bells. Like, seriously, I just want to buy that crown. I, I want to, like, even though I probably won't wear it, because I like my little star. Like, why not? Oh, okay, so. Not as much as I thought. Actually, no, maybe, so... Putting in 95,000 bells. Oh, look at that. You get... Ooh, look at me. Oh, I'm making this really hard to... No, I'm not sorry. All right. So, I'm going to do a couple more things in-game. Like, write an apology letter to the, the deer who's moving away tomorrow. If you want me to do more of these, let me know. I'll probably... Like, I, I wouldn't mind if I could actually get a decent setup. Like, starting with a new town and, like, doing day by day, but... It's, it's Animal Crossing. It's a lot of the same thing. It's, it's more of like a personalized experience for you. You may not necessarily want to watch somebody else play it. And if you have for the last 40 minutes, thank you. I uh, really appreciate that. Um, 
yeah, I just really wanted to brag because I've been waiting for this day for a really long time. Like, seriously, I just got nearly a million bells. So, go me, woo! Am I like, like, okay, last question. What, like, is the exchange rate for bell currency? Is it more like the yen, which is more like a hundred bells is like a dollar? Or is it like some some different thing? Well, I mean, a hundred a hundred yen is not like a dollar, but it's like a eighty cent equivalent. It like it makes sense when you look it up online. Okay, I, all right, I'm done. Bye.